TIFU by accidentally hooking up with my former youth pastor. This actually happened about a month ago. But I needed to recover mentally first. I, 24, temporarily moved back home for summer after graduating college. One night I was bored and I went on Tinder. I matched with an older guy, 37, but he was pretty good looking and we actually got along well. Next day we decide to meet up. I felt like I recognized him from somewhere but it's a fairly small town so I didn't think much of it. We meet up at a local bar. And well, one thing led to another and we ended up having sex in the back of his car. I was leaving the next week so I didn't really care what happened. Next day is the only Sunday my mom has had off since I've been there and she wants us all to go to church. Guess who's doing the sermon that day? He immediately recognized me, and we make awkward eye contact for a second. Then it hits me. He was my youth pastor. I hadn't seen him in almost a decade. I have no idea if he knew who I was right away or not. And I'd rather not know. I left in a hurry after the service. Oh and I found out later he was married. So there's that. TL. V or I was bored and went on Tinder. I matched to an older guy and we hooked up. Found out the next day he was my old youth pastor. This pastor in a small town is Tindering with his face in photos eyes. Any dude having sex in a car at his age, is hiding something. Holy hell. Don't think you foo, but rather the pastor. Weird the sermon was about the sanctity of marriage too. Yeah, you did nothing wrong. Preacher boy, on the other hand. Was the sermon about adultery? Wow predatory behavior from a youth pastor Pikachu face. Oh that must be fun. I hope you're a guy. It would make the story extra spicy. As far as things go, this is quite mild. He's the one who foo. You're great. Yeah, more like he fooed, not you. This is fiction. Folks. Op isn't participating in the comments and OP's account is only two weeks old. This is their only post. And this story is far too unlikely to have happened. And too well written. This is exactly why I laughed at my aunt when she told me that priests would want me to attend church for months before they would marry me. Like that will make me a better person. Good one. Father. His sermon was about how holy a marriage is, right? In the clergy, this is called playing the long game. A, doesn't really seem like a big deal other than him being a cheating asshole. I bet he knew and was living out a pedo fantasy. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.